Hey guys, Steve here, and have you ever felt like you were doing everything right on keto, but still not seeing the results you were hoping for? It's incredibly frustrating, right? Well, one of the biggest culprits I see tripping people up is hidden sugars and carbs lurking in foods they think are totally fine. We all know the obvious no-nos on keto, bread, pasta, soda, that's a given. But what about those sneaky foods that masquerade as healthy or keto-friendly? when in reality, they're packed with carbs that can kick you right out of ketosis. In this video, we're diving deep into those surprising foods that could be sabotaging your keto journey. We'll uncover the hidden carbs, break down why they're problematic, and most importantly, I'm gonna give you awesome, delicious alternatives so you can stay on track and crush your goals. Let's start with the basics, grains. You already know bread and pasta are off the menu, but it's not just about those obvious culprits. Even small servings of grains can send your carb count skyrocketing. Think about oatmeal, often touted as a healthy breakfast option. While it does have some fiber, a typical serving can easily pack 25 grams of carbs or more. That's a significant chunk of your daily carb allowance on keto, gone before your day even really gets started. Rice is another one that trips people up. It seems so innocent, right? But even a cup of cooked rice can have over 40 grams of carbs. And don't even get me started on those healthy rice cakes. They're basically just puffed up carbs with very little nutritional value. And watch out for hidden grains in sauces. Many store-bought sauces, especially those teriyaki and sweet and sour varieties, are loaded with sugar and often use flour as a thickener. Always check those labels carefully. Now fruit is a tricky one because we're conditioned to think all fruit is healthy. And while it's true that fruits offer vitamins and antioxidants, many of them are also surprisingly high in sugar, which can be a problem on keto. Take bananas, for example. They're a great source of potassium, but just one medium banana contains around 27 grams of carbs. That's a lot of sugar for a single piece of fruit. Apples are another common culprit. They're lower in carbs than bananas, but still clock in at around 25 grams per medium apple. And don't even get me started on those delicious tropical fruits like mangoes and pineapples. They're practically candy in disguise when it comes to their sugar content. The key here is to choose your fruits wisely. Stick to lower carb options like berries. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, these are your best friends on keto. They're relatively low in carbs and packed with antioxidants. We all know vegetables are good for us, but when it comes to keto, not all veggies are created equal. Starchy vegetables in particular can be a hidden source of carbs that can sabotage your progress. Potatoes are a prime example. They're delicious, versatile and a staple in many cultures, but they're also very high in carbs. A medium baked potato can have over 35 grams of carbs, which is more than many people on keto aim for in an entire day. Corn is another starchy veggie to be mindful of. While it's technically a grain, it's often treated like a vegetable, but just one ear of corn can have over 25 grams of carbs, so it's best to enjoy it sparingly, if at all, on keto. And don't forget about other starchy veggies like peas, parsnips, and winter squashes like butternut squash and acorn squash. They're all delicious in their own right, but they're also relatively high in carbs and should be limited on a keto diet. Dairy is another food group that often causes confusion on keto. While full-fat dairy can be a source of healthy fats, it's crucial to choose your dairy products carefully and pay attention to serving sizes. Let's start with yogurt. Plain, unsweetened yogurt can be a great source of probiotics and protein, but many yogurts, even those labeled as low-fat or fat-free, are loaded with added sugar. Always check the labels carefully and opt for full-fat, plain yogurt whenever possible. Milk is another tricky one. Even unsweetened milk contains lactose, a naturally occurring sugar. While the carb count in milk might seem low compared to other foods, it can add up quickly, especially if you're drinking large amounts. If you're a milk lover, Consider unsweetened almond milk or coconut milk as lower carb alternatives. And when it comes to yogurt, look for full fat, unsweetened Greek yogurt or coconut yogurt for a keto friendly option. Condiments can be a real trap on keto. They seem so innocent. A dollop of ketchup here, a squirt of BBQ sauce there. But those little additions can add up quickly in terms of carbs and hidden sugars. Ketchup is a prime example. Many popular ketchup brands are loaded with sugar often using high fructose corn syrup as the main ingredient. Just two tablespoons of some ketchups can contain over 10 grams of sugar. BBQ sauce is another culprit. While there are some keto-friendly BBQ sauces available, many store-bought varieties are packed with sugar, honey, or molasses, all of which can spike your blood sugar and kick you out of ketosis. 
The good news is that there are plenty of keto-friendly condiment options available. Look for sugar-free ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, and hot sauce. You can also find keto-friendly BBQ sauces and salad dressings online or at specialty stores. Navigating the world of packaged foods can be a minefield on keto. With so many products marketed as keto-friendly or low-carb, it's easy to fall into the trap of assuming these foods are safe for your diet. But here's the thing, not all keto foods are created equal. Protein bars are a prime example. While they can be a convenient snack option, many protein bars are loaded with hidden sugars, fillers, and unhealthy fats. Always check the labels carefully and look for bars that are high in protein, low in net carbs, and made with real food ingredients. Granola is another food that often masquerades as healthy, but can be a hidden source of carbs. Many granolas are loaded with oats, dried fruit, and added sugars, all of which can quickly add up in terms of carbs. And don't be fooled by those keto cookies, crackers, and other packaged snacks. While they might be lower in carbs than their traditional counterparts, they often contain sugar alcohols or other artificial sweeteners that can cause digestive issues for some people. Let's talk about alcohol. It's a topic that comes up a lot in the keto community and for good reason. While it's technically possible to enjoy alcohol on keto, it's important to understand how alcohol affects your body and your progress on the diet. Here's the thing. When you consume alcohol, your body prioritizes metabolizing the alcohol over everything else, including burning fat. This means that even if you're drinking low-carb alcohol, like hard liquor or dry wine, your body's fat-burning machinery essentially comes to a screeching halt until the alcohol is processed. Now, this doesn't mean you can never enjoy a drink on keto, but it does mean that moderation is key. If you choose to drink, do so sparingly and opt for low-carb options like vodka soda with a squeeze of lime or a glass of dry red or white wine. And remember, alcohol can lower your inhibitions and make you more likely to make poor food choices. So, if you're going to drink, plan ahead and have keto-friendly snacks on hand to avoid derailing your progress. Now I know what you're thinking. With all these foods to avoid, what on earth can you eat on keto? The good news is that there are tons of delicious and satisfying keto-friendly alternatives out there. Let's start with the basics. Instead of wheat flour, try almond flour or coconut flour for baking. These grain-free flours are low in carbs and high in fiber, making them perfect for keto baking. Craving pasta? Zucchini noodles, spaghetti squash, and shirataki noodles are all fantastic low-carb alternatives that will satisfy your pasta cravings without all the carbs. And when it comes to sweeteners, ditch the sugar and opt for natural, keto-friendly sweeteners like stevia, erythritol, or monk fruit. These sweeteners won't spike your blood sugar and can be used in baking and cooking. But it's not just about substitutions. Keto is all about embracing whole, unprocessed foods like fatty fish, avocados, leafy greens, nuts, and seeds. These foods are naturally low in carbs and high in healthy fats, making them perfect for a keto lifestyle. So there you have it, guys. Those are some of the most surprising foods that could be secretly kicking you out of ketosis. Remember, knowledge is power. And now that you're armed with this information, you can make informed choices about what you eat and stay on track with your keto journey. Take a look at your current diet. Are any of these hidden carb culprits sneaking their way into your meals or snacks? If so, don't beat yourself up about it. The important thing is to be aware of these potential pitfalls and make adjustments as needed. And remember, the keto community is here to support you. If you have any questions or if there are any other foods you're unsure about, drop a comment below and let's chat. I'm always here to help you navigate the world of keto and achieve your health goals.